on the Chuck Norris room. We should put him in charge of the Jack Lounge. Yeah. Is he on the list? I am in charge of the Jack Lounge. See if he's a celebrity. You're not All right, Chuck I got to take a break. We'll be back with Chuck and his beautiful girlfriend right after the You're Nine people. Girlfriend. Nine people Chuck has? Wow. Yeah. Chuck's a big there's, a, there's a publicist. I bet you when he was a kid and they started doing karate and junk, nobody thought that would like afford him nine people. He looked behind him, nobody was there. Yeah, right. <laughs> there's a lot of people out there. Boy, that's a good advertisement for taking karate yeah. lessons. When you see the young girlfriend and the nine people, <laughs> I'm like in the dojo working out now. And Chuck's uh, branching out, you know. <laughs> What's he doing now? Yeah, uh, I was just looking through his bio. He just recorded the new song to his uh, TV series. Stop is it. he I was singing? Say, is oh he singing? no! Oh. Did, he, did he bring it with him? I don't know. I just saw it in the press release. Maybe Chuck is singing. Yes. <laughs> Have him sing it here. Do it live. Yeah, he's got to do yeah, it live. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna bust his balls. Oh. <laughs> he's having too good a life. Someone's gonna make him miserable. Now he's singing. I wish I could kick his ass, but I can't. <laughs> He could probably like just start pulling on my hair and like bring me down to the floor. Yeah, I mean, there, there'd be no contest. It would be over in seconds. It mm. would be embarrassing. Right. You know, you forget. I was looking at his bio. You forget that you know you see him as a TV star, but he's like a five-time world champion karate expert. Well, he's used to getting his ass kissed too, because uh, even when he was a karate teacher, people were just walking around calling him sensei and stuff. You, you know, that's a whole thing at these karate schools. They get you calling your names, master, grandmaster, sensei. Mm. Like you start walking around thinking you're somebody important. <laughs> what do you call your guy? Sabu Nim. What do you call your guy? <laughs> Sabu Nim. Robin got into karate. <laughs> and you call him, she's like bowing to some guy calling him Sabu Nim. Just because the guy knows how to beat somebody up. Uh, you had the best sensei of all time. Didn't you have like sensei lip shits or something? Yeah, <laughs> sensei lip shits. No, I had sensei Howie Friedman. Yeah, right. <laughs> and like, you know, guys get real big egos when you call him sensei. So Chuck's had a big ego since he's about 15. People running around calling him sensei. Or oh, sensei. <laughs> Bowing to him and junk. That's right. And Slapping There's yourself. a whole thing going on in karate. Like, poor boxers walk around. People spit on them. Right. <laughs> Guys in karate get people bowing to him and junk. Yeah, boxers didn't put it together right at all. No. But he had big celebrities bowing to him. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a break. We'll get Chuck in with the girlfriend. Forget Chuck. Let's talk to the girlfriend. <laughs> leave him out there. Yeah, leave he him out there. some humbling. So what are you guys here for today? Well, you know, just down here doing some promotion for Walker. Uh, and uh, I thought it was a not, well, I don't want to say it on the air yet because we're going to say it when I see Howard, the reason why we're coming on the show today. Is specific reason. Is. Oh, there, there's a reason? There's a specific reason why we're doing the Howard Stern show today. Uh -oh. And nobody knows it. Yet. Uh oh. A big surprise? A big surprise, yeah. Have anything to do with you two? Uh huh. It does? Yeah. Uh -huh. He's trying to get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta wait. We gotta wait till we get on his show. We can't, we can't tell you right now, it wouldn't be fair. What's Chuck's girlfriend's name again? You met her, I never did. Oh. That's Gary. He sucks. He's the worst producer. You're the worst. You get more handsome every time I see you. Oh, Monica, look at you. Oh, hey, Monica. How you doing? Uh, let me soak in your girlfriend for a second. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man, what a life you're having. Uh, Chuck sent me a Christmas card. Yes. Yeah. And he's sitting under the tree with Monica. And I'm going, look at this bastard. <laughs> From karate. From karate. <laughs> I should have taken more karate. From a, a few kicks. I went and did this judo when I was a kid. They took me yeah. to the judo school, and I was a big pussy. I backed out after one class. <laughs> they scared you. You know how they scared me? The 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 uh, I, the Chinaman there was standing there, right? Mm -hmm. You learn from the Koreans, right? Yeah. They are the craftiest, right? Yeah. Yes, they know exactly what they're doing, right, Chuck? Yep. They you owe the Koreans, though, big time, right? Yeah, but I owe the, they owe me a lot, too, because I was the first Korean stylist to come back to the States and really promote the Korean style. <laughs> you know what I so you they made, owe everything yeah. to Chuck now. Yeah, well, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it, it's true. I mean, the Koreans would still be over there eating dogs and not having dojos here if it wasn't for Chuck. Chuck came over and popularized the karate. Well, they've got my, my picture on all the walls uh, of the um, uh, Taekwondo schools over in Korea. Oh, they do? Yeah. That's really? interesting. Well, yeah, because when I came back to the States in 1961 and started fighting, well, you know, of course, I started winning a lot of tournaments, which uh, exploited the Korean system. Can you imagine, like, Chuck came back from the Army and just started, like, going into fights? And, I mean, th you must have had nothing to live for, right, Chuck? I mean... N nothing. Nothing. <laughs> seriously. I mean, seriously. Can you imagine going into a <laughs> ring and, like, like, just, like, bashing each other's brains in? Right. I mean, that's what Chuck was doing. Well, especially in those days, because you wore no pads. You yeah, know, I mean, you, you know, like, no contact. Beating yeah. each other's ass. Yeah. 
Yeah, so there was a lot of injuries there, and uh, and uh, you Monica, know. that was before you were born, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Howard. That's <true. laughs> Almost. That's when, that's when Chuck was on the rise. <laughs> Listen, that's what happened. <laughs> that's what's affording that nice lifestyle now that you're, you're sharing with Chuck. All that karate and ass kicking. <laughs> I love it, man. What a life you're leading. When I saw that Christmas card, I said, "That's yeah. it. That's what it's all about." Yeah. The tree. Yeah. And Monica. How about that? How about the dog too? Screw the dog. <laughs> It was a dog. Was a dog. I didn't even notice the dog. In fact, I think the dog was blocking my view of Monica. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. What a life you have. Well, you know, the uh, main reason we came down to see you, Howard, is we, we wanted you to be the first one to know. Uh-oh. Nobody Are you singing now? No. Well, well, you, well, what is going on with that, Chuck? Well, what, what is going what on with happened? that? What happened? You know what happened there? Uh, yeah. let, me, let me tell you what happened. You know what happens? You get Monica worshiping you. You go crazy. <laughs> I think you can do everything. <laughs> you do. must be able to do No, honey, I, I bet you could sing if you want to. Oh. <laughs> no, I got a tape in the mail <laughs> right, from a kid in Oklahoma, and it said, Eyes of a Ranger. And I thought, that's an interesting title. So I played the tape. And I said, you know, this is what the this song is what my series is all about. Right. So I called the network. And I said, look, I like to put this song into uh, the the series. You know, with someone like Randy Travis or George Strait singing it. Right. And they said, well, we like it. How about you singing it? I said, oh, come on, give me a break. <laughs> right, huh? right, right, right. That's your thing. What I, happened to the guys at the network? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What well, network was that? Well, CBS. Yeah. Was that Howard Stringer? Yeah. yeah that's what was Howard. he smoking crack or something? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I did. The, so anyway, I went to a studio for like ten hours. Right. And sang the this damn song. Now, how's it go? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to get me to sing, Howard. Come on, come you're on. not going to get me to sing. Come on, you're a guy who took out no 12 opponents hell. at a time. Uh, 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 what the uh. hell is this song? I, I don't know this song. What is that? Oh, it's a song about eyes of a ranger. Really? Like, the eyes of a ranger are up on you. Any, uh, any, uh, I don't know the song. I'm going to get I a copy. I forgot the words. Chuck, I'm, I'm going to get a nervous now. Chuck, I'm going to get a copy of this song. Right. I need to hear it. You I'm have telling to play you, man. It's, it's, yes. Now, it's going to be the theme song now? Yeah, it is. Now, on the show, as it opens up, that we play the theme song uh, on see. the opening of the All show right. now. Monica, mm -hmm. are you still as much in love with Chuck as you were when I last saw you? Yes, of course. Really? Yeah. Probably she better more. be. I was going to say, better be, be growing. Because I won't, that's why I won't tell you, Howard. We officially got engaged last week. Oh, oh yeah. Now, how long have you known each other? Sure you want to do huh? that, Chuck? Five wait years. Minute, wait a minute. Well, you know, well, you, you five started, years? Yeah, you're the one that you started this. Engaged. Really? On the, you know, when we talked to you that other morning, you know, a while back. Pressure from our father? Huh? Uh, no. <laughs> pressure from you. Oh, really? <laughs> Monica, what's the story here? How did you get Chuck to agree to marriage? Because Chuck has had it with marriage. Chuck could be a bachelor. Chuck could certainly go out and have any woman he wants as a man who... As early on as uh, you were with Steve McQueen training right, him, right. the two of you must have been out on the town all the time, right? Uh, a couple times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, Chuck used to train all the Hollywood people. Sure. Steve McQueen wanted to learn karate. Well, Steve was the guy who told him you ought to get into movies. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah now look where Steve is. <laughs> <laughs> Steve <under>. <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> so, uh, have we drawn up the prenuptial agreement yet? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it, Chuck. We might as well bring it up on the Monica. Has Chuck talked to you about a prenuptial agreement? No. He has not. No. That's a very difficult subject for Chuck to bring up, and he's asked me today to bring it up to you. That's why you're here. Yeah. Chuck, obviously. No, no. I mean, listen, Chuck. Chuck has Chuck has amassed a fortune, as you know. Chuck has done millions of movies that have grossed hundreds of millions of dollars. And it's not that he doesn't love you. He loves you very much, but he's been burned before by women, and you know. He understands that marriage doesn't always work out. Well, what's a fair deal? I think a fair deal is. I'll tell you what I would like to see on the prenuptial. Okay. I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm, a, I'm taking a ballpark figure of your assets. I okay. would say you're well worth over $50 million. Okay? You understand that, Monica? Okay. Even though Chuck will never admit that to you. <laughs> Chuck is worth Or to the IRS money. either. Right, right. <laughs> but Chuck is worth a lot of money. His movies obviously made yeah. a fortune. His, his, uh, his series, of course, uh, uh, Walker, Texas Ranger, affords him a great lifestyle, as you have uh, witnessed. Now, in all fairness, though, he has uh, many uh, commitments. As his uh, karate uh, endeavors, he has uh, children, as you know, who have uh, individual trust funds. Uh, there is, you know, there is uh, uh, charity <laughs> work. Who are alimony payments. Alimony <laughs> payments. <laughs> is that still going on? Oh, yeah. You're kidding me. Uh -huh. you, you still got to pay alimony? Oh, yeah. That's Did you why guys, the prenup. What are you yeah. talking about? Didn't you just about? split 50-50 down the line? No, no, 50-50 no, plus uh, alimony. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 50, 50, why plus? And when does uh, the alimony end? I don't understand uh, why plus. Uh, plus, uh, it, that's the way it goes. Chalk. When does that you, end? You, You're killing me. You, don't know, you want to know how much it is? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I do. I want to know. Drum roll. 720000 a year. Chuck, <laughs> you want to get married? <laughs> <laughs> 
You should have Monica sign those checks. <laughs> <laughs> That'll drive your wife nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, is it time for me to sign that alimony check to your wife? <laughs> Wait a second. You $720, want seven hundred twenty thousand oh. dollars a year? You want to know why divorce costs so much money? Why is she? Getting you want to know why divorce costs so much money? Because it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Monica. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I put Monica's pictures on the checks. I tell you, I give it all away for a night with you. Really, the first Mrs. Norris was set after the settlement. Yeah, I mean, let's face it. The first Mrs. Norris got yeah. quite a hefty uh, load of money. Yeah, yeah. Why seven hundred twenty thousand dollars a year? At this point, the the boys are raised, right? Mm, I mean, yeah. your kids are all Isn't raised. That child yeah. support. Mm -mm. She's got a That's nice just strictly alimony, and I'm sure that the 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 initial half right. uh, was very was substantial. Nice. substantial and and throws off income. Am mm -hmm. I correct? Oh, absolutely. At this rate, she can't afford to get married, Chuck, with what you're paying her. Right. right. That's right, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck likes this. <laughs> Chuck, at what point does that stop, or is that going for the rest of your life? For the rest of my life. Wow. Did you agree to that because you were feeling guilty at the time? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's guilt money. So is your message to uh, everyone out there, even though you're feeling guilty at the time, you know, Hire a good lawyer. Hire a good lawyer. <laughs> you basically said, hey, I want to give you half. And you know what? Whatever I, I make from I, now on, I'll, I, I'll send I hired you a $5,000 lawyer. She right. hired a $100,000 lawyer. Wow. Oh, and you were like, hey, what do I care? I just want to go out. and I'll... Oh, yeah. I didn't. You know, I really, you know, truthfully, I, I wasn't really even concerned about it. Now you are. Huh? Hey, you know, you know, this got to bother you now. Nah. Come on. I tell you, truthfully, no. Cause I don't, I, money's not a big thing to me. Really? Nah. Oh. Oh. Look at Jackie. Jackie just fell off his chair. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Now, listen. Yeah. Monica, you're not walking off with the store like the first Mrs. Norris. You understand that? <laughs> I mean, I'm going to say it for Chuck. Chuck is a gentleman and doesn't like to say these things. He loves you. You do love Monica. Oh, it's, it's obvious. Sure. I've seen, I mean, you don't spend five years because you could basically go out on the town and yeah. just walk in. Chuck walks into a restaurant. Well, he had a period there where, you know, you were seeing him every other week with another beautiful you woman. You were? Yeah. Is that true? Well, yeah, Beverly Johnson. Yeah, he was with everybody. Yeah, Beverly Johnson? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Hey, you believe me, you didn't pay enough <laughs> for the fun you're having. You should have paid a lot more for that divorce. No price tag. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, Chuck, when are you going to bring up the prenup? You've got to have a prenup. There's just no two ways about it. You actually think there's going to be a wedding. Oh, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I didn't think of that. There's not no, going to be a wedding, is yeah, there? Yeah, there is. You guys have set a date, Yeah, Monica? we set a date. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wait, 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 2000 what? No, no. What, <laughs> here. Next year, August 10th, next uh, August really? 10th, next year? Of 80, uh, 96. Wow. Mm -hmm. Boy, Monica, you're going to look great. But that, Thank you. oh man, <laughs> I'm wild for her. Yeah, she'll be legal by then too. Yeah, that's right. You'll, you'll be 19 by then. Hey. <laughs> yeah. No. no Let's that was see. The first year we were together. Oh yeah, right. No, you're yeah. 21 by now, aren't you? Oh yeah. Yes, absolutely. Barely. Barely. Thank no, no, no. Uh, That's the picture you signed for me. For oh, my you yeah, oh, hey, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Right next to my damn picture. Right. <laughs> <laughs> really, I swear, Robin. Yeah, Howard's picture's right next to mine in Are the bedroom. You I so swear. wait a second, Chuck. How could you not have brought up the uh, prenuptial. When were you planning to do that? Um, at the altar. After being on your show. <laughs> at the altar. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'd come on your show. Monica, you're help. willing to sign though, right? Aren't you? Mm -hmm. You are? Yes. Oh, well, what how, a do perfect you think, girl. how do you think he has it structured? All right, here's how I would structure This is okay, what I yeah, say right. from other celebrities that I've interviewed. Okay. Here's what happens. This is the standard, is what you're going to say? Standard. Sign? Okay. All right. See, because Chuck, like, Chuck has to make sure as he gets older, if anything happens to him, he don't want you walking out the door with some young guy. In other words, let's say, let's say Chuck is in an accident. All of a sudden, you go, hmm, maybe we should start looking at a younger guy. I'll you know, dump Chuck. Cool man looks really good. Right, yeah. I'll take 50% of his money. You see what he's got? To, you've got to protect yourself from that. You say, hey, now, I got, now I'm entitled to 50% of his money. I'll go take 50% of the money, and I'll go off with some stud. Yeah, be like Michael Landon's wife. Right, like Michael Landon's wife. Did you read about that? No. Oh, for goodness sake. Wow. Oh, it's very upsetting. I'm not going to read it to you. Oh. All right. <laughs> so, Chuck's got to protect himself, obviously. <laughs> All right. I don't think you would do that, by the way. No. I, I wouldn't. personally don't think that. Yeah. Chuck, I don't. I know Monica. Yeah. I've had dinner with Monica. Right. All right? <laughs> yep. Monica is so good about that. She hardly ate anything while she was at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Saved me a lot of money. <laughs> she doesn't want to cost anybody anything. That's right. Now, here's what I say I say Monica gets in the prenup. If you should die or anything happens to you, you take care of Monica financially. She's oh, yeah. entitled to the Chuck Norris fortune. Right. Not all of it, because you got to be some for your kids. That's right. a will. We're talking about a prenup. No, 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 no. Because in case... she has to be assured, so that she puts her time in with Chuck. Oh, you're saying you get it all. That if there's you stay. a pot at the end of the rainbow. I see. You get but it all if you stay. Monica could kill you in your sleep. How do you guard against that? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's an incentive. Here. So what you do is. <laughs> 
Well, you're in a tough bind there, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, you're putting in a real bind, Howard. Oh, <laughs> no, but I don't think she has the balls to kill you in your sleep. Because no. then that would be stupid, because if that ever comes out, you could have sleep with one eye, one eye open now. <laughs> no, but if she kills you, then she can't enjoy the money. So, yeah, okay. Right. So I think okay. she's with you. And plus, okay. she likes you. She loves you, obviously. Yeah, right. All right. So right. It's, it's worth keeping So, you what do you do with the prenup? All right. Here's what you do. So you make it worth her while. Mm-hmm. You do one of these deals where it's, and we'll, I'll draw this up right now. You could sign it now if you want, Monica. I'll, I'll draw it up. I'm, okay. I'm a lawyer. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm half Jewish, so I'm very crafty. Okay. All right, here we go. You ready? Now listen to what okay. you do. This is how you structure it. All right. All right. Say to Monica like this, the following. Monica, you stay with me, and uh, we have a nice life. Something goes wrong, you want to leave, there's a buyout. You get a um, million dollars. That's it. Um, one million dollars, no matter how long. That's right. Because I understand that there's graduated fees in some. Well, we could there. structure it that way. We could structure it. The first, if you stay with Chuck five years and you leave, you get nothing. That's a little harsh. I would say three years. Because three years, she's worth a million. Mm-hmm. I say, I, <laughs> <laughs> right? Everybody yeah. like that? Agreed. Everyone agree right. to that? Do you like it, Robin? I think you're you're shortchanging her. Hey. Well, you could work. You could do a whole new thing that I've structured. You just pay her a hundred bucks an hour <laughs> for the rest of your marriage. <laughs> that's the way you do it. So that's a, that's the way of so doing it. So she's with me for five years. I give her a million dollars. That's right. If she leaves me in five years. Yeah, right. And then uh, and then it just stays at a million. It's always a million dollars. No, that's no, it. no, 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 no. Are there going to be children? Uh, yeah. Oh, there are? Ah. Oh, that's different. All right. <laughs> now, for every child, you will set up a trust fund. But Monica's entitled to none of the money. And the trustee of that trust oh, fund you are will answer to Chuck directly. You, know, you are being very harsh. Hey, Chuck's a catch. He is. <laughs> he's a, he's a got the upper hand. Wait a minute. He <laughs> what? is. Guy had Beverly Johnson. Giving Monica a lifestyle which she has become used to. You just can't turn her out. Into oh, the that'll keep her motivated. <laughs> you don't want to marry her. Against women here. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Chuck has to protect himself. You don't want to marry her, and then all but of a sudden she's not minute. putting what out sexually. Chuck, you right. know now. Chuck has gotten bored before. Uh oh. That's what I'm saying. Well, I, no, I won't get bored. Oh, yeah, we do have to protect Monica. That's right. I will not get bored with Monica. Well, I don't really, trust Monica? You, Chuck, oh, right. Jesus! No. How do you keep him interested? No, she does. Jeez. Easy. You ever wear nineties and stuff? Oh, oh yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Oh, yeah. She's oh. a sexy woman. Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> you were an aerobics instructor, right, Monica? I was, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I wish my wife would take up aerobics. <laughs> <laughs> I would like her to instruct. <laughs> let's go back to this prenuptial thing. All right. You like it. <laughs> yeah. All right. You know what? Okay. Let's let's take a break. Let's think it through. Right. Okay. Because you really have to give Monica some protection in there, I think. <laughs> All right. Now, Chuck Norris, by the way. Uh, you got to give Chuck an incentive not to leave, too. Oh, oh that's no, I, true. I wouldn't leave hers. Yeah, but why should Chuck, Chuck has all the money? Why should he have to leave? incentives not to leave. Hey, just like the first Mrs. Norris, maybe he won't feel so guilty this time. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Chuck can't put himself in a bind like that. No, 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 no. The Chuck is a lot more sophisticated than when he made that deal. He was like me. He got married young. Yeah, exactly. He didn't know what he was doing. Exactly. <laughs> guy was teaching a karate school. Happy a woman would look at. Right. The guy had no money. He was teaching a karate school. When, I got, know what, when I got married, I was making $84 a month. Yeah. yeah. There you, $84 a month? $84 Ooh. a month. Boy. She must have really loved you, your first wife. No wonder you felt so guilty. <laughs> Who'd marry a guy making 84 a month? That's real love. Yeah. Yeah. But the hell with real love. Who needs real love? Now, what are your kids doing, Chuck? Do they need they money They stare now? at Monica. Uh, yeah. well, his, my, his son works. Yeah. I know one yeah. son does. Well, yeah. I mean, Eric uh, works on, on the Walker Show. He's the right. second unit director on the Walker Show. All the action stuff you see, my son shoots. Yeah. And then uh, my daughter lives in Dallas. And then my uh, other son lives uh, in Indiana. And doesn't he direct movies and stuff, your other son? He directs uh, some of the movies for you. Uh, well, I actually starred in, uh, my oldest son is starting about five different films. Right, yeah. Now, he actually, his, first movie, was, guy. his yeah. first movie was with Randy Harlan from right. Finland called yeah. Born American. Well, the daughter's staying close to the money. She's down in Dallas. Is she right? Yeah. 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 Everyone, everyone your dad. All right, listen. There's a whole situation going on here, and I've got to straighten it all out before you get married. I'm not letting you get married until this whole prenup thing is worked okay. out. Thanks, Howard. All right? I feel a certain closeness. You've okay. been good to me. You've always right. come on the show. You're right. a superstar. And but you come of course, on you've here known you... Monica as long as you've, as you've known Chuck. No, yeah, no, I don't no, want no, Monica no. to turn on. No, so Monica might be. Monica, you're resenting me in all this. Do you feel no. I'm being too strong toward uh, Chuck? No. Really? Yeah. Well, you are the perfect woman. <laughs> <laughs> Until we get behind closed doors. No. <laughs> <I know. laughs>
No. I would make love to you, Monica. Uh, if I was if I was lucky enough to be marrying you, I would make love to you five times a day. I don't know if Chuck can deliver the goods, but I can. Yeah, you know what's funny to me is uh, Joe yeah. Piscopo and are they are Joe and are you in touch with him at all at the wedding? Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, they're invited to the wedding. Well, what's poor Kimberly gonna do? She's been engaged longer. I know. And, and they're uh, gonna get to the altar first. Now, how does Joe Piscopo avoid getting married? <laughs> well, he keeps saying they keep saying they're gonna get married, but some, for some reason it keeps getting extended. See, that's what you got to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you just got to be engaged. Well, I tell you, a lot of my buddies are concerned here because you know, a lot of them are uh, dating girls right, and now right. I'm putting the pressure on all of them. Yeah, to get married. Yeah. Now they need to be marriage fever. Yeah. Well, I would marry Monica. <laughs> right. And you see the prenup you sign with me, you wouldn't get 10 cents. Right. <laughs> you'd be paying him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'd have to pay me. <laughs> Small amount. <laughs> Stipend, that's called. All right. Chuck Norris is here with the beautiful Monica. They're announcing their engagement, oh, which is a, an exclusive. I, I yeah, yes, for, yeah, no one knows it until And next now. August, now Robin and I will be going to the wedding? I hope so. Oh. You'll be, you'll be getting an invitation. Now, anyway. let me say something in all sincerity. Mm -hmm. uh, Jackie and Fred don't have to be invited. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anyway, uh, and Monica, I noticed that big rock on your finger. My God, is that the engagement ring itself? Yeah. Holy that's mackerel. Different, that's a different one than you saw. You know, <laughs> this is it. Remember the one you saw on your show? <laughs> wow. This is a different one. Wow. Yeah. Oh. How many times are you going to engage her? <laughs> uh, only once. How much How much money does a rock like that cost, Chuck? Give me a ballpark. Well, you know, the first ring I gave to her, what, about two years ago? No, it was a year ago. A year ago. Birthday. She says, this engagement ring? I know it's a friendship ring. Right. Friendship <laughs> ring. Birthday present, friendship yeah. ring. Three and, right. half, okay. three and a half carat. Wow. And so, so that uh, was three and a half carat, the yeah. friendship ring. Yeah. That's why That's why she doesn't have to do aerobics anymore. She has the arms of a weightlifter. <laughs> 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 it's unbelievable. <laughs> you could burn insects with that ring. Now, what's the new one? The engagement yeah. ring. The engagement is, ring is, uh, hold that up so uh, the camera can catch that. How big Look is at, that That's one? About, about four carats. That's four carats? Mm -hmm. What's a rock like that cost there, Chuck? I mean, give me a ballpark. Come on, be honest. Honest? I'd say about 150000 No, no, no. No, more. More? No, 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 no. No? no. Oh, what would you, you go to Fidelity Diamond? He went to the Diamond <laughs> <laughs> I went to a, a wholesale store. Yeah, right. And <laughs> so what's a thing like that cost? I mean, it's big bucks. Close to 100000 Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't know that, Monica? You no. didn't know, no. You didn't know? No. Well, there's your prenup. Oh, That's what you get if you bring That's what you get if you get the ring. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, actually, everyone knows Chuck is very macho. He went to Africa and dug up the ring himself. He got yeah, that. right. Yeah. 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 He's like Superman, and he just took a bunch of coal. He used karate. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Monica, were your parents mad that you were dating Chuck for a while? Is that what was going on? Because you were so young, and, you know, Chuck, obviously, a more mature man. You know, they, um, at first... They were a little shook up. They were a little bit, but um, believe me, he's a good man. You, you, you shake that they, ring in there. As soon as they met me, no, as soon as they met me, I, I sold them. You really? Oh yeah, I charmed him right in. That's yeah. you're not yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know your hand is worth more than Fafa Fui's whole house. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? But wait a minute now, when Chuck goes to meet her parents, yeah. yeah. Isn't he sort of talking to a guy? Yeah, yeah it's weird, right, like Chuck? Like himself? Yeah, you isn't know, it, Chuck? Like a guy yeah. his age. Well, right. My, my parents yeah, they're, divorced, they're, they're divorced. So. Oh, they are? Oh, actually, oh that's I, good. It's I good to get girls from broken home. I only had to convince the mother. Oh, oh really? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's easy. So okay. I, didn't, I didn't have a father to worry about. Yeah. Good. And what are you good. saying? Chuck is like Kelsey Grammer or something? He didn't meet her when she was 13. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. You were 16, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was legal in whatever state that was. Oh, man. No, she was older than that, people. She's older Chuck, it must be wild when you walk into a Hollywood party or something with Monica on your arm. I mean, it must she be. She is beautiful. Oh, yeah. 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 All the I turn. turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, how do they take this? Uh, my kids? Uh -huh. Oh, they, they love her. Yeah? They love her, yeah. Of course, who wouldn't? Well, yeah, I'd kill myself if my father came home with they're Monica. Gonna, they're going to have more children. You know, they had that three-way split going there. Yeah, of right. Fortune. Yeah, right. That's not good. And now, the kids have to be upset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be the second yeah. It'll work yeah. out. The kids aren't great. Yeah, they'll, 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 it'll work out. <laughs> Monica, the first time you made love to Chuck Norris, were you like, oh my God, I'm with Chuck Norris? Or were you, was it, uh, were you nervous? Because a little bit. It, because he's, I mean, he's a legend, right? Yeah, I mean, when he first right. comes up to you and even shows a little interest, that must be Yeah, where'd you meet her again, Chuck? Yeah. Um, well, actually, uh, my best friend was living yeah. with her. And uh, after my divorce and all that, I was, uh, you know, I, at that time, you know, I, I'd been married all my life, so I really didn't know how to get into the singles. Thing, oh, right? yeah, that must have taken a, that must have been a week. Yeah, it's like calling modeling. Yeah, right. Anyway, Monica came down and she was uh, uh, studying interior design. 
Super. in Long Beach, and right. uh, so I, and she was staying with my best friend and his uh, girlfriend, and uh, so, so, we started, at- so we all kind of started going out together, and uh, and like I say, at first though, going out, I really wasn't looking at her as a girlfriend because of the age difference. Just wanted to nail but her, it, right? But it just kind of, <laughs> but, <laughs> come on, <laughs> no, come on, man, you didn't think you'd be with her a long time if you could nail her and get out of there, right? <laughs> <laughs> come on, don't tell the truth, right? Am I right? Uh, well, you weren't ready to settle yeah, down again. Look, she's no. a beautiful woman. Yeah. 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 Had yeah. To, it had to cross your mind, Chuck. You know what I do? If I got single, I'd walk in the room. I see Monica. I put a thousand dollar bill on each um, a side of my mouth on each side, <laughs> and I'd smile and I just walk in. <laughs> Yes, so well, that's what I would I'll do. tell you, the problem with Monica, though, is that's not her thing. You know, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, she sure, either sure. Yeah. likes you or she doesn't like you, and oh, she, lets you on, know. Sure. she lets you know. She lets you know. Really? <laughs> that's a German blood in her voice. Right. She lets you know exactly how I love how German blood. <laughs> <laughs> you are perfect. I didn't know you were German, Monica, are you? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, German and Irish. You are Hitler's dream. You are Aryan. <laughs> you are beautiful. Really? You have blonde, blonde hair, hair, blue eyes. Yeah, Come on. Exactly. You were bred for perfection. That's right. That's what Hitler was looking for. Exactly. Oh, if the Fuhrer were only here now. Chuck and Hitler were looking for Chuck. Chuck and Hitler had one thing in common. They were both looking for a couple of blondes with blue eyes. Let's get back to this prenuptial thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where were we? Now, Monica, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do Chuck a favor. I'm going to do you a favor. Let's get the uncomfortable prenuptial thing out of the way. Monica, what do you think would be fair in terms of a prenuptial? Obviously, you want to... Of course, you, do, you want the marriage to last forever. Yeah. Let me talk to you about this. Let me hear what your wish list is. I'll, I'll decide if it's proper. I don't want Chuck. You don't have to talk mm. during this because it'll be very uncomfortable and for you. And, Monica, I want you to think... Right. You really hate Chuck at this point. Right. <laughs> and then, you know, what do you want? I mean, this is not the Chuck Norris <laughs> Okay, you Robin. Love. All right. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> There's the attorney over there, Robin. <laughs> Robin is Monica's attorney. Now Monica. my attorney. <laughs> now, Monica, I'll be taking down some notes as we speak, all right, so that I can draw up the prenuptial. All right, and all you'll do is sign at the bottom, okay? <laughs> there we go. This will say Monica. Now, now here Robin say, no, that's not enough. <laughs> Monica, are you interested in becoming Monica Norris? Do you want to take on the last name? Yeah. Okay, then of course. Oh, that's going to yeah. cost something? Of course. Wait, Everything, okay. costs. <laughs> Everything costs. Everything costs. Oh, I don't like to think like this. Not, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you obviously want to take on the Norris name. That's something that... Oh, uh, yeah. Is, you is, know absolutely. what? He has to pay to get it back. That's yeah. how it will work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Now, first of all, um, who do you think should... Uh, who do you think really owns those two rings you're wearing on your oh, finger? Monica. Do you think Monica. you want... Monica. Yes. Okay, yeah. so you Monica. want those two rings. Where's two rings. All right, go ahead. Because don't forget. I mean, no one's... There's no law. There's no law that says that was a gift. No, that was a gift. Uh, hey. <laughs> Please. Robin, let Monica speak. Robin, let Monica speak. In her own defense, really. We have to know what's on her mind. Those earrings you're wearing, did Chuck buy those? Oh, they're just silver. No, I bought these. Uh, you, Chuck, they're is that silver. true? Yeah, she bought them. She did? Yeah. Who paid Are you going to strip her now? <laughs> I did. Well, yeah. Who bought those outf- that outfit you're wearing? Looks very expensive. Did. did you really? With your own money? Yes. How did you make that money? Exactly. Uh, Chuck owns that outfit you're wearing. <laughs> but, hey, listen. I sell T-shirts and hats. T-shirts. And so does Baba Booey. Makes yeah. nothing. All right. All right. Okay. Let's listen. All right. Now, let's say things went completely sour between you and Chuck after the wedding. What would you like out of it? What would you What would you think would be fair? Is that a ranch you're living on now? All right. Is that a ranch? That's yeah, Chuck's yeah, ranch. Yeah. And she's gotten yeah. used to that. Do you like ah, the ranch? Ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no. The ranch is out. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. The ranch I is out. Hey, keep the ranch for me, Hey, Howard. Chuck can remain. <laughs> let me remind you girls of something. Chuck can remain single. He doesn't need to get married. He's doing this to do the right thing. All right, Chuck, let me handle the okay. nasty all right. stuff, all right? Let me handle it. Okay. This wedding's going to be off in five, <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> she's going to be moving out in two seconds. You're going to be walking around looking for a girlfriend. All right, let's see. Okay, the two rings. and uh, So Chuck- far, we've only got two rings. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all she's going to get. All right, let me see. No, Monica, I'm interested she's in... She's still single. No, Monica. <laughs> I take my place. Monica, no, no. No, no, seriousness. Tell me your wish list, and let me see if I can make it come true. Now, let's say things go sour. You're going to need certain money to keep, uh, you know, your lifestyle going and all that. What would you think would be a nice lump sum? We're not interested in paying out over the course no? of years. No. No, 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 no. Uh, what about a, a lump house? Sum. House. What I'm going to propose to you is the following. We're going to say Chuck is worth X amount of dollars. Whatever that is at the time of the divorce. Okay, then we'll take X. You can have... <laughs> Here's what I'm offering. You can have 25% of the interest that that money generates. Uh, the interest? If you want to, If you want to take... No, excuse me. If you want to take a payout over course of years. In other words, let's say Chuck is worth $10 million. Is uh, That uh, $10 million throws off, let's say, uh, um, half a million dollars a year, $500,000. And you're you only would get getting 25%? 25% of 500000 is what, Jackie? What would that be? 25% of 500000 quickly. About $125,000. $125,000. So you would have an annuity of $125,000 a year. Not a good deal. Is that good? No. Would you like that? 
What do you no. think, Robin? Robin, please. It's, it's not up to you. It's up to Monica. <laughs> Chuck, this, this is very uncomfortable. You know, <laughs> let, let's remind everybody that we're going to get on. It's going to be a beautiful wedding. This is probably never going to end up in divorce. But what I am saying is, just in the rare case that it does, everyone will be happy. 125000 a year you seems more what? than reasonable. I like this. You know, there's one thing about OJ yeah. that I like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OJ <What's that? laughs> bought his wife an investment property. Yeah, during the yeah. marriage. Yeah. 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 Now, that's no, true. there's nothing to like about OJ's deal. <laughs> <laughs> you will not cut off Monica's head, will you? <laughs> what is it, Gary? Oh. I don't know if you care, but Dominic's on the phone. He says you're doing this all wrong. All right. Oh, yeah? Hold on. Let me. You're just giving say. her too much, he said. <laughs> 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 Even the rings. Dominic, are we giving her too much? Should I take the rings back? Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just off. I'm making proposals. That's You're all. Get a suit for malpractice. First all right. of all, you never give away a percentage of income. Then she can look at your books forever. Not of income. Year. Not of income. Oh, please. But it is interest from income. Assets. Now, first of all, first of all, the first thing we do is it, for the three years of marriage, she gets twenty-five or 50000 total lump sum at the end oh, of three years. Good. Oh. All right, go ahead. Hey, listen, Chuck doesn't have to get married, Robin. Go ahead. Then, after three years, <laughs> go ahead. assuming there are no children now. Yes, go ahead. children, we change it. We'll give her an X amount of dollars per every two-year period, but never a percentage of anything, because that will mean the lawyer could come and look at records and books forever. Yeah, who needs that? We could continue to find money forever. Good. I like this. I like this. Okay, so far, uh, that's good. And we're going to videotape the signing of the agreement so that she is clear, understands it. And All right, videotaping. The guy with the gun will be off camera. <laughs> yeah. And we, keep, and we lock Robin in the closet somewhere. <laughs> now tell me the, the percentages on the three years after marriage with no children. So, I, I would think a man of Chuck's wealth, of course, we have to give a little more than we usually would. All right, go ahead. Be generous. For every three years of marriage after I that. I thought it was two. Shh. Every three years. years. Yes. An additional seventy-five to hundred thousand dollars. All right. So okay. Oh. All right. Fine. And let's put a cap on that of six years. So at the end of ten years, she'd have a total sum of a half a million dollars tax-free, which is a fairly nice sum of money. All right. I agree. Thank you, Dominic. Dominic Barber, noted attorney. That's why there women hate no Dominic. Marriage. There is no marriage. <laughs> All right. Now, Monica, here is the agreement just to spelled out by Dominic. All you got to do is here's a pen and sign your name to it. <laughs> and, <laughs> go ahead. No way. If you love Chuck, you'll sign right now. Don't you dare sign. Okay. Let's get it over with so that the wedding can go on and happy. Go ahead, Monica. There it is. Monica signing. And we let her keep the jewelry. And the jewelry is yours, by the way. That's, then that's you're what... buying a lot I of jewelry. More. I need more. <laughs> that's right. You're buying a lot of jewelry. Right. More. There it is. And she has a And there is the signature. Problem. There is the signature oh. right there. And now we can get on the happy business of love. <laughs> Locked us in a vault. <laughs> Here you go, Chuck. There is your paper. Monica, I've got one was... thing to say. Yeah. Secret bank account. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not over Chuck's dead body. <laughs> All right. Thank you, there Dominic you Barbara. You handled that with the professionalism that... Uh, yeah. Okay. Very good. <laughs> well, Chuck, that was exciting. Yeah. We were witness to the first stage of marriage between a uh, big Hollywood celebrity. <laughs> we wanted you to be the first one, Howard, to know that. All right. And... You bet. Uh, Bury that in a time capsule, I'm telling you. Don't lose it. That's legal. She's you know, fine. Monica, he'll take that out again. Yeah. Are you happy with the arrangement, Chuck? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's okay? Yeah. You can live well, with that? The thing is, I wouldn't uh, marry Monica if I didn't think it was going to go the duration. Sure you would. But uh, That's right. Absolutely. But yeah. you got to go into it. With, yeah, well, listen, it has to be that. You guys really have to sit down and talk about that. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a comfortable conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah can we tape that? <laughs> 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 you can't even look at her now. <laughs> oh, 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 there we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Monica, come over here and kiss me so I know that you still love me, too. Yes. All right, anyway, Chuck Norris is in Walker, Texas Ranger. This is where Chuck it kicks some ass, but also, you know, they have stories, too. It's not just ass kicking. There's a moral tale. That's right. Everything you touch turns to gold, huh? Well, gold plated anyway. There you go. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, didn't you used to pr uh, train Priscilla Presley? Yeah, karate yeah too? I trained Priscilla for a few years. and uh, Never got it on with her? No. No, she wound up dating my one of my best friends. Mike really? Stone, Mike Stone, yeah. Was he a black guy? No, no, a Hawaiian guy. Oh, he's Hawaiian. Yeah. yeah you're always calling him a black guy. Yeah. Yeah, Hawaiian. Poor Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was the light heavyweight champion of the world. And Priscilla Presley, is she as dumb as a wall? No, actually. She's, she's smart? Yeah, she's a pretty smart gal. Is she really? Yeah. Or do you have to say that? No, no, she really is. <laughs> she really is? Yeah, she really is. <laughs> and what was with her pappy giving her away at 14 years of age to Elvis? I mean, no, what was that? that? Isn't that a little strange? Yeah. Seriously. You never yeah. met him, huh? Uh, yeah. No. No. Who? The Pappy. The no, Pappy. No, not Mr. Pappy, no. <laughs> Pappy Yoakum, I think no. his name is. How did no. Elvis, a dumb hillbilly, convince the dad, the dad yeah. to give up his daughter at 14? 
You that's know, pretty wild story. And especially when you're living with him, you know, without being married. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty I strange. Of course, I didn't know him in those days, so I don't know what the circumstances were. But, but you know, the thing is with the, uh, Priscilla is that, you know, she really had no real life of her own. I mean, right. uh, Elvis was on the road all the time, and so she uh, would go, you know, she all she could do is go to ballet classes, karate classes, and all that kind of stuff. So right. it was a pretty boring life for her in those days. What's it like when you, you know, when you punch a guy in the face? And you break his nose and you almost, you know, knock him out. Is that the, the most manly thing you can do? I, I oh. wish I could do I wish I wasn't such a pussy. <laughs> tell me what it's like when you take I a guy, I you, done you, you rip his years. nuts out of his sack. I'll what tell you what I'm doing tell now. Tell me what it's like. I'll tell you what it is. Have you seen this Ultimate Challenge fighting stuff? Like yeah, you? right, yeah. Yeah, I train with those guys. Oh, do you? Yeah. You're talking about the guys who get in the ring and yeah, right, no and gloves. And no gloves. Like everybody, and, uh, no I love that. Isn't You like that stuff? I love to watch other guys beat each other's asses in. I'll tell you, that's brutal, isn't it? And I sit there and I yell at them. I go, kick his ass. Yeah. I tell you, yeah, that stuff is really, I mean, they get in the ring and and You train with those guys now? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be careful. What are you, crazy? Yeah. You got Monica now. Well, you know, I was in Brazil. How I found out about these guys is in Brazil, scuba diving, and I'm going around these different martial arts schools working out. All I kept hearing is the, is the Gracie Machado uh, families. You right. Know? And I go, who are they? They were scared to death. Those of are the guys who always win. Yeah. So I finally went up to, went down, tracked them to their school, and went in there and worked out with them. And boy. You yeah. know who those guys are, Gracie Machado guys? No. Every, like these, they get these guys in a ring, and they just punch each other in the face and stuff, and, you know, pull each other's eyes and junk and right. kill each other. Yeah. So these Gracie Machado guys just jump on you and they smother you. Yeah, they do. Exactly. They just they just yeah. they just jump they don't even That's throw a punch. They win? Yeah, and they yeah. win. They beat up everybody. Yeah, everyone. Wow. Yeah. So you're into that now? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Oh. Can you kill a guy with one punch? <laughs> well I can chuck the daylights out of him. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Ever kill a guy? Huh? No. No. no I never what about when you were in Korea? No, I didn't kill anyone in Korea either. I mean, life is pretty worthless over there. You can probably just hire someone for like 15 bucks and just kill them, right? They'd probably pay you to do it. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I, cheer, I chased a lot of them, though, boy. Ever you. break a guy's arm? Yeah. Oh, that must feel good, huh? No. Oh. Well, actually, you, you must love that. When you well, hear the crack of the bone. Well, when I fought, you know, I won the world championship here in New York in right. the 1968. I fought a guy named Louis Delgado, who was a very, you know, one of the top fighters here in the East Coast. Did you beat his ass? Well, when it was over, I had a broken jaw and he had a broken arm. No the kidding. It was over, yeah. Oof. So we finished the fight. I went. I wound up winning the world title from him. And then we went to the hospital. Got my mouth wired, and he got his arm in a cast. Ever <laughs> kick a guy in the chest and have his sternum pop out through the? the no, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I tell you, if Monica was mine, I wouldn't even shadow box. I just want to make sure I'd be stay healthy for sex. Why would you want to risk it? I wouldn't even want to work out. I would just have sex all day and night. How long did you guys wait before you actually became lovers? How long was it? Yeah. Uh, about. 12 hours? Was it really? Oh. No, no. I'm only kidding, honey. I'm only kidding. Monica, no. you made love on the first date? <laughs> no. No. Well, we were friends for over a year yeah. before we yeah. ever Yeah, we even started dating. Anything. When you guys go on vacation, do you wear a thong? A bikini. Not you, I mean Chuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, do you like, wear like, down bikini, in Brazil. like do you wear bikinis and thongs and stuff and go around topless? Not thongs. No, she's, bikinis, she's very shy about that. She is. She's I like not that, that kind of, yeah. She, uh, yeah. she only shows only Chuck. Only shows Chuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But you know, it's funny. She's uh. 24 going on 50. You know, I'm 50 going on 24. If she's 24 going on 50, you better not marry her. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what's amazing? It, well, she's a very you could have stayed married and had that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, so you mean you were friends for a year? You'd yeah. have sex for a whole year? Yeah. yeah Are you just, serious? Yeah. And what do you mean by friends? How often did you see each other? Well, you know, uh, well, I'd go up and see my, you know, my friend. She was uh, staying with them and uh, right. working. And would she run around in her little uh, exercise outfits and stuff? No. Teasing you? No, she didn't. No. Monica, you had a plan to get Chuck, though, didn't she, you? No. What Monica's, are you talking about? Monica's very prudish. You know? Monica, you yeah. didn't walk around in little short, like uh, Daisy Duke shorts and uh, with your butt cheeks sticking out and no. stuff? No. no? No. But you had a plan to get Chuck. When did you know you were in love with Chuck? No. When did you know you were in love with Chuck? Yeah, when, uh... Ah, he wants to know. Yeah, I want yeah. to know, too. <laughs> <laughs> after the first time, of course. Really? After the first time oh, you met yeah, him? right, right. Monica, is that true? After the first time you met him? Yeah, when, uh, when did you... Uh, well, no. Well, uh, wait a minute. I, I, when did this friendship turn into well, you something know, else? I, that, that's the thing. Yeah. Is that we, you know, we, you know, we'd go out socially, and but you know, it was just strictly as friends. And uh -huh. uh, when, when did it actually kind of make that change from friendship to... Uh, I don't Love. Know. You, don't even, you don't even remember a point? I, I actually, no, because it's like a year. Well, Monica, just... you're kind of young. I mean, have you had sex with other guys? I mean, you haven't had a chance to experience other guys. I don't want her to either. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but you were no virgin when you married Chuck. I mean, when you met Chuck, right? Is my mom watching? Your mom, <laughs> your mom doesn't know what's going on. You were no virgin, no. right? No. no. So you had your share of experiences because you don't want to, you know. You don't want to okay. always be wondering what would have what it would have been like. You don't want to do that to her, right, Chuck? No, no. Right. No, no, no. 
but did you when you first met her would you like beat up her boyfriends and stuff so that no so I that, didn't know them no? I didn't know. she That's, was she was she was uh, she probably dated women she was single when uh, you ever date karate guys that? before no no yeah. Chuck teaching any karate a little bit yeah. 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 Does, it, does it feel good when you walk down the street? You know, I could beat anyone's ass. Yes. <laughs> you feel very safe and secure. That's the best part of it. Because she I is good. Yes. You, you could know. beat uh, Steven Seagal's ass, right, Chuck? I mean, because he's a pussy, oh. right? Yeah. Because <laughs> you are a world champion, right? I mean, well, that's, you know, the whole thing is, you know, whether you can or can't, is the fact that I've I've proven it in the ring. I've, you know, yeah. what has uh, Steven Seagal done? Nothing. What is I saw him on a karate. He can't even lift his leg. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, right? I'm yeah. serious. Yeah. yeah. What's that all about? <laughs> could you beat Jean Claude Van Damme's ass? You could, right? Well, I trained him for a year. Oh, did you? Yeah, so when he first came over from Brussels, he worked out with me. So he's not even that but good. But again, uh, you know, they, they've never they've never fought professionally, so it's hard to say. So you could beat his ass. Say it. Say it. Say you, it. you said it, Howard. <laughs> you, <can't. laughs> you know it. You know it. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe it. You're going to wear one of those strapless wedding gowns? I don't think so. God, what a body. Are you planning the wedding now? Or are you getting ready? Oh, God, yeah. Bit. She's already, man, she's already got her bridesmaids. And, oh, really? Oh, yeah, she's already <laughs> planning it, Robin. She has got, they, 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 she's already been sitting down with all the, you know, my daughters and all of them been getting everything planned. Right. Don't get fat on them, Monica, either, you know. Yeah, tell her that. We tell her that thing, yeah, yeah. Tell or, her. Else, or else that's it. The prenup goes into effect. <laughs> can she, get, worry, can she get a little belly during the pregnancy? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No, yeah, don't right. even, don't get yeah. her pregnant. Why are you getting her pregnant? Huh? You're going to ruin her. Well, don't. Yeah, no, oh. okay. The hips oh, always yeah. get bigger. Monica oh, loves stuff. kids. Really? It, it wouldn't well, be fair adopt. To her. Adopt, yeah. adopt. Yeah. Adopt some of those Koreans. <laughs> yeah. that wouldn't, it wouldn't be fair not to for her to have Oh, please. It's enough yeah. with the kids. <laughs> get that out of your system, please. That's what you need to do to chase around kids. You, you went through all that. <laughs> Unbelievable. You want me to write in a weight limit on the prenup? <laughs> Monica can't get it? You got to say, here, all put right, it back in. Here. Monica, how much you weigh now? It was signed. It's over. What do you think? I'll say you weigh, uh, how tall are you? Five, seven? Five, seven. Mm, I'm going to guess... Uh, Stand up for a second. Yes, oh, yeah. please. Oh, if you're asking me to wait. Oh, oh, God. I have baggy jeans today. Let me yeah, see. right, right. Yeah, turn, turn, around. turn around and open that jacket up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll marry you. <laughs> and you don't have to sign a prenup. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say you weigh um, 103 pounds. Ah, uh, 120. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just but don't go over 125. Like, yeah, she's muscular. That's the reason. Oh, I bet. I lift yeah. weights. It's oh, the rings. rings. It's yeah. the rings. Yeah, the rings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Chuck laughing, thinking about his alimony bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, Chuck, that's quite an entourage you got out there, would you? Oh, uh, yeah. Now, who are all those well, people? Well, the, the, they flew me down in a private jet. Oh, no buddy kidding. My, a buddy of mine from Dallas flew me oh. down in his jet. So. You guys make love on the jet? Huh? No. No? No, no. What's with you guys? Mm. Go for it. <laughs> well, there's always a ride back. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom's too small. So, who is out there, Gary? What is going on out there? Big entourage, and we have to wrap up soon because yeah, they got to go visit Kathy and Reg. Oh, Jesus. I hope you don't vomit during that show. Uh, oh, for Christ's sakes. The bitter, the, the sweet uh, Kathy Lee. Did you see, you know, you know, my, my uh, brother-in-law was at the Super Bowl. He said that while, they, while she was lip-syncing the Star Spangled Banner, Kathy Lee, the whole crowd was booing. I mean, booing her they like crazy. They cut down the sound, huh? Yeah, they cut off the sound, though, so you couldn't hear it. That would have been funny. Oh, wow. She, yeah. Oh, she lip-synced that? Oh, oh, yeah. That yeah. Was on, uh, tape. Chuck, in reality, uh, you sing better than her. I'm telling you. Once they lips, they fix that in the studio. I'm telling you. Wow. Mm. Oh, it's unbelievable. You're going to go on there, huh? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't stand well, that. Well, I've known just for about 30 years. You know, I, I knew him back in the Joey Bishop days when he was on there. So. Go on there and kick his ass. <laughs> I've done it a couple <laughs> times. Do it, do it. Just beat his ass. Kick that stool from All right, who's yeah. out there with uh, Chuck? Well, let's see. Well, I'm sorry. Is your microphone not on? Go ahead. Let's see. We have, um, there's a publicist. Yeah. Right? And then I think there's like a publicity assistant. Wow. Then there's a publicist from CBS. Not, not to kidding. be confused with Chuck's personal publicist. Wow. Right? Yeah. Then there's a makeup person. Then there's a guy wearing a baseball cap from the show, so I figure he's like a production guy. No, he's uh, he's kind of my right arm. He's kind of takes personal care of assistant. Me. Hanger on her. Hanger on her. Uh, no, personal. Yeah, he's no. give him a couple of bucks. He just hangs with you. No, he, he's he's my lifesaver. He saves me a lot of problems. What do you mean? What does he do? Well, he just takes care of all the problems. You know that you know all the stuff. You know why I'm interested in this? I'm looking to get out on. He's me if I were good. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. He's doing what you're supposed to be doing. Ah, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Yeah, he's my Gary. That's what he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, the great Chuck Norris, of course. Uh, his films are legendary. His TV show, Walker, Texas Ranger, is a guy who really can do karate. He actually does karate on TV and is not Doesn't using uh, stunt yes, guys yeah. and all that kind of crap. He
He's doing Monica. You are lovely as ever, and I wish you and Chuck uh, lots of luck with this wedding. Thank and uh, you, you two make a great couple. Well, we'll hope to talk to you before we uh, before the wedding next year. You know, oh, good. It's not until right. August next year, so I will be seeing you, I hope, before then. Absolutely. And, yeah. uh, man, this is going to be some wedding. Mm. <laughs> Can but, Robin uh, be a bridesmaid? Uh, Robin, you're going to be. <laughs> you're you're, you're going to get an invitation, Robin. Uh, I'll Robin be with Howard. So. Yeah, I'll no, be no be need it. to invite Jackie or Fred or anything. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> These are hangers on. Right, very good. <laughs> You guys excited about the wedding? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we're very excited. Do you think yeah. Howard will come? Uh, I hope so. You know. I hope he doesn't uh, stand up when they ask who opposes of these two getting married. I hope he doesn't stand up and say, "No, I want her." <laughs> <laughs> you guys thinking about a gift he might bring? Anything? Any suggestions you want to give him? Uh, for